Hello there, everybody. How is it going? Welcome to Guitar Control. My name is Robert. Thank you for tuning in here today. And I wanted to cover a topic that is certainly an extremely commonly asked thing. Uh, and as players, you know, I remember I had for the longest time, I'm like, what do I practice? How do I practice? What do I do? <laughs> and you know, the, the advice is always practice, practice, practice. And it's kind of like, well, what does that mean? What, what do I do to practice? And uh, I thought, you know what, I should do a video. And this is something that I cover a lot with my own, um, you know, personal, like in-person students and stuff like that, is building a practice routine. And uh, that's another common question. It's like, well, what do you put in a practice routine? It's like, a great question. Uh, and, you know, there's all kinds of videos here that you could incorporate. So this isn't necessarily a video where I'm showing you play this exact lick to practice. Play this to practice. I'm going to be showing some stuff, but... It's not really like, you know, adhere to just this. It's whatever you enjoy playing. So find things that make you want to play in practice. So the first thing is that I recommend is, you know, there does need to be a discipline area in practice where, you know, you're disciplined. Sometimes we're going to be practicing stuff that is not the most fun, like some of the more chromatic licks, you know. They're not necessarily fun, but they do help a lot. with technique and picking and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, sometimes we do need to have that stuff incorporated into what we're doing. Uh, the other part is we need to make sure that it's staying fun. So I, I recommend, you know, trying to learn things that, you know, when you think of guitar, what do you think about? Like, do you think of rhythm? Do you think of the solos? Uh, to me, I, th I think of both, but if I'm thinking more solos, I like things that have melody, you know, to them. So, uh, you know, practicing a lick, kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, I can't leave a good example. <laughs> that is just kind of like nonsense. You know, if I was, it was the look like. If I heard someone play that, I wouldn't be like, I want to learn that lick. Um, you know, probably because that was really sloppy. But, um, you know, I, I'm more like, I like things that are very melodic. So if I was doing something. I like that because there's like this melody inside of it, you know? So it's kind of this cool vibe going on with these uh, these licks that keep it melodic and it makes it not really feel like practice anymore. So let's get kind of dive into actually building your practice routine. So there's just some hints on getting started with it. Um, building your actual practice routine, I recommend people treat it very much like weightlifters do, working out in the gym. You know, that's why, the, you know, there's the joke, it's arm day, leg day, back day, you know, whatever, whatever day it is. I, I'm clearly in the gym 24-7 over here. Um, I'm, that, that was a joke. I, I'm not. Um, but here, here's the advice I have is treat it that way. So if you practice one lick all week long, over and over again, every single day, what happens is you end up disliking the lick uh, because you get so tired of it. You're just like, oh, I'm tired of it. But again, if you're disciplined, we're just gonna sit there and we're gonna like, oh, whatever, I'll just keep doing it till I get better at it. And then you finally get to where you can play it fast, you can play it really well, but you hate the lick. <laughs> You've played it so much, you're so sick of playing it that you just, you're like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm like, okay, I, I did it, now what? Let's, let's learn something else. You're ready to learn the next thing right away. So like I said, you practice so much to where you get tired of the lick, you hate it. And then I feel like it leaves the lick kind of like in a negative area in our mind to where we, we might not want to play that lick instinctually because it's such like a negative kind of vibe going on with it. So I recommend breaking it up. So have like Mondays uh, and, and try to do like a five, five day thing, maybe take weekends off. But if you don't want to, by all means, play, you know, play as much as you can. Uh, I just know a lot of times scheduling is an issue for people as well. So we'll say Monday is picking day. So Monday is heavier on the picking. You can still incorporate some of the legato stuff, but it's, you know, the driving force between behind Monday is picking. So we're gonna be doing all the, you know, picking, turn volume all the up, picking legs, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff where we're really hammering and picking. You know, like I said, still, don't worry about it. You can still do like some of your like legato, you know, practice legs. That's totally fine. But then Tuesday is legato day. So still have a little bit of picking in there, but heavier on legato. So. <laughs> Stuff like that. Now Wednesday, you're gonna go at it, um, you know, and be like, okay, Wednesday is chord day. So you want to be going through chords. And again, there's lessons on all this stuff uh, here on the channel. So we're gonna be going like, okay, so I'm gonna work on chord and verse. Maybe G. 
all these different game modes all over the place. You know, and then you know, have a little bit of picking and legato. So now it brings us to Thursday. Thursday might be picking and legato. You know, you're really kind of like dead, dead center on those. Like you're really heavy with picking. And also, you know, a lot of legato stuff in that. Maybe Friday is our Pagio day where you're really just, I'm sorry. My, 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 obviously it's not our Pagio day for me. And so on with that one. And then uh, you can just kind of keep going with these and move them all over the place. And then you have uh, the weekend, like I said, maybe take weekend off. But the important thing on all those days that, that are very structured, very practiced, all that kind of stuff, is make sure you incorporate time on every single day of just fun playing. Some of your favorite riffs, some of your favorite songs. Uh, what I always recommend is people don't end on a bad note. And what I mean by that is don't end frustrated, discouraged at the instrument. Don't put the guitar down, uh, you know, angry at it or anything like that. Make sure that you're ending your practice session on a good note. If you have a lick that is just driving you crazy, you cannot get it right, it's okay. But don't stop with that. Kind of be like, okay, 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 I'm going to play some ACDC. Something just that, that's straight fun. No other purpose than just enjoying playing the riff. It's not really difficult. It's, like I said, it's, it's all fun. So make sure that you're ending the practice sessions like that. That's a huge thing I find because, again, it leaves you off with a negative thing. Like, uh, you see the guitar, it's not out. You're like, Ugh, I don't even feel like playing it. Because the last thing you remember is you know how frustrating it was. Now, not everyone's going to be that way. Some people will be, you know, more determined and be like, I'm going to get that lick down. But everyone's not that way. So make sure that you're ending very positively uh, on the guitar. Uh, another great thing is to keep your guitar out where you can see them. That way, it's always in your mind. You see it, and you're like, oh, yeah, I should play guitar for here for a little bit, you know, stuff like that. So I think those are really um, strong practice, you know, uh, routine ideas and stuff like that. And it'll make it a lot easier for you to sit down and play the stuff if you have an actual plan kind of in place. And just try it for a couple weeks. If, if you don't like it, by all means, just throw it out. But um, uh, pretty much like 90% of the time, most people really dig it and they really start seeing a lot of good results. So till next time, I will see you all later. Peace out, keep on rocking, and have a great day.